These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I decided I'm doing my review for not this Voorhees Customs 3D printed Bora with a, uh, you know, MOSFET lighty up switch on it. It's this little number on the inside, the Atmazoo Steam Shell. Got it sitting inside of a peak boro tank right now. I don't necessarily love the way this looks, but I do also kind of love the way this looks. The steam shell has become my reliable mouth to lung banger. The flavor that I'm getting from this right now, get out of here. It, 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 it's putting some mouth to lung RTAs to shame. Oh, I just kind of filled this up, didn't I? Why did I choose? This is the worst time to review this. But here's the thing. I've been using this for a while. It is starting to taste burnt on the inside. So I'm going to have to sacrifice what little liquid is in here to re-wick it. We're going to keep this in mouth to lung mode, but we'll go all through it. Don't worry, let me go rinse this out. Oh my God, that flavor is good. Okay, here we go. Whoops, all rinsed out. This is essentially the top cap around your coil. It's nice and squared off. I think that's where the good flavor comes from. Hard angles, baby. We have a pretty standard Atmazoo style two post deck. You can see the holes underneath are where the liquid are gonna meet the cotton. This needs to be glowed a little bit. And to do that, let's go steam shell. I need the adapter that comes with it. Now the full kit that I have came with lots. This is the mouth to lung narrower chimney that I've been using, but there is the bigger restricted lung chimney when you get up to the bigger air flows. It goes from a 0.8 mouth to lung to a four millimeter restricted direct lung and the mouth to lungs all go inside the four millimeter. This is the four millimeter jobber right here. As you can see, there's my airflow on the inside, one millimeter. Oh baby, that's my sweet spot. Additionally, it is pretty great that you could theoretically, while this is even in a boro tank, swap the airflows without messing up anything on the inside. But here's the adapter, which I don't necessarily love, but it's not a deal breaker to keep track of an adapter. Most other modern Boro bridges have 510 threading on the bottom, so it can just, you know, thread down to a device for building and the such as. 120 watts, yeah, right. Just pulse and strum and pulse and strum. This was reading a 0 0.7, so I set it to about 15 watts, low wattage, pulse and strum. Like a lot of Atmazoo stuff, you can tell from looking at the deck and seeing where the juice holes are, how to wick this. It's not overly complicated. Using that BP Mods Pro Vape Cotton today, two and a half millimeter. Just as a general pro tip, sometimes when I'm wicking, I will put my fingernail on the opposing coil of where I'm pulling it through, if that makes sense, so I don't completely jack up my coils. Like, if I'm pulling it through in this a direction, I'll put my fingernail on this side while I'm pulling it through, and I also, with my other fingers, try to hold this down into more of a of a tubular shape. I just hate messing up a good coil with wicking. Because this is square, I used to love cutting it square. I don't so much love cutting it square anymore, so I'm just gonna go up to the corner here and cut it flat, flat. I'm going to proceed with a very gentle thinning out of the wick. This isn't only to thin it out, but to, you know, get the fibers sort of going in a similar direction facilitate a little bit faster wicking. And now we do our best thumb. These are some expertly thumbed in wicks. Remember the wick hole openings are on the bottom. In this, I still use the mouth to lung liquid. Living that guava jelly life. 12 milligram non-salt nicotine. Boosh. Four millimeter goes back on the bottom with my one millimeter on the inside under the coil. Great. Cap goes on. This is the home stretch. I've also decided I want to use a red crypt tank instead of that ultem or ultem instead of that peak tank so the narrower mouth to lung chimney snaps in with like a damn that's like a kennedy level snap this is designed to fit i believe in the traditional boro tanks and everything that's fit in a traditional boro tank fits in these crypt tanks as well i like these crypt tanks just because they have the rubber fill port and i don't have to deal with sliding glass more importantly i don't have to deal with the o-ring that comes with sliding glass i've learned i hate them <laughs> so we're putting it in this i think the red crypt tank is gonna look good in this gray Voorhees customs 
billet box. I believe this is called the Click Fet. It was a gift from Tribal Buddha. So thank you and yo yo. Give me that front fill hole every single time. Okay, boom. That is really the home stress. I, sh I should have a red drip tip coming out, right? No, oh, red is hard to come by. I don't know why I sounded like Seymour Skinner from The Simpsons right there. What about that? That kind of looks dope. Actually, I don't know anything about this mod. It's not about that. It's about the steam shell. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's do some mouth to lung action. I Murphy, I'm sorry. I know, I know. You, all my dog wants to do is play with me right now. What if I throw this? Hey! That actually might buy me some time. So, this steam shell, you know, I've been using it for the last two weeks as a mouth to lung, as like a serious going through liquid mouth to lung, and it's been nothing but great for me. Even with a dorky drip tip, even with a slightly longer drip tip, the flavor is still really good. They, they have found like this perfect balance of a condensed chamber and hard edges and that just translates into flavor that some people including myself would call busting oh shit he's back and he's riled up there might be some light crinkling in the background from a dog toy the juice flow holes are on the bottom and on every other boro this has been elevated a little bit but in this crypt tank it's kind of right up against there and i was worried about it not wicking but I've just been vaping it like normal. It hasn't seemed to gone dry. It hasn't even got to that edge of even, you know, where it's kind of gonna go dry. I've seen some bubbling happening. I'm gonna be honest, it's it's difficult to not wanna give this 10 complete banana stickers. The flavor alone is just top quality. The, the, the build quality is top notch. The kit I got included literally everything I needed for it. I guess you do still need an adapter, nine and a half, banana stickers. But honestly, having that adapter is the price you pay for being able to change the airflow on the fly, I think. Now, I'm, I'm gonna stick with my original. I've been so pleasantly surprised by this. You know, I've liked all of the Atmazoo Boro stuff. It was among some of the first, when I first started going down the billet box rabbit hole, it was some of the first Boro stuff that I bought, the vape snail and the vape shell, and those both impressed me with their build quality and the quality of restricted lung and like mouth to lung vape I was getting. They've kind of just gotten better. And like, I feel like they've gotten so good that they, I mean, this is like mouth to lung. I don't want to say it, but it's like they've perfected a mouth to lung Boro. I don't know. It's. I mean, I don't know if I want to say that completely on video because, look, I don't want to name names, but there's other mouth-to-lung boros out there that maybe I need to set up side-by-side side with this to justify the banana sticker rating for the steam shell, but I'm standing by it. I've been using it like crazy. I see no reason why I wouldn't stop using it. I might also set up an MV tomorrow just to put them side-by-side mouth-to-lung against mouth-to-lung. And honestly, listen, four millimeters for restricted direct lung is nothing to blow your nose at either. I, I don't really use Boro stuff for restricted lung anymore. I set this up in restricted lung for a while. Went, hey, this is great. I enjoy it. It's a restricted lung. But really, I prefer mouth to lung uh, with a Boro. It's just how I roll. Now that I'm rambling, this is the end of the video. I can't tell you how much these cost or where to get them. But I can tell you this, if you are currently a cigarette smoker, now's the time to stop. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of vapor products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm gonna have links to Just Science and Just Education. Murphy's barking at me. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. Okay, come here, come here. It's like 10.30 and I'm gonna smoke so